hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in um if you're new here thank you so so much um for stopping by and i truly appreciate you thank you so much and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so so much for your support and for your loyalty thank you so much i appreciate you a lot so guys this video is a bit dark because first of all it was at night and secondly we had load shedding so it was dark but i had to organize this things i had to put them away because i could not just let them be there until the next morning so i decided why not do a video for you guys um just to see you to let you see how i um how i pack my things because you all know how my cabinet is I do not have space so I try to keep things organized if in this way but I hope this will motivate you um, to also organize your things um, I know that we, we tend to throw a lot of things in our cabinet and whenever we take things out when we have to put them back we just throw them there um, and you find out that it's it's a mess <laughs> it's a mess most of us do it and you know being a homemaker it's a lot um it's 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 too much guys it's too much i hope some homemakers will um agree with me it's too much and sometimes you don't have the energy to tidy up things especially if you have to put your groceries in your pantry whatever your cupboards it's just a lot so we just tend to just put things the the way they are and then you'll be like ah huh? i'll see it next time and each and every time you open the just i'll see it next time so here yeah, i was just trying to avoid that because i do not have space in my kitchen and i hope you did see a video which i did um when i was showing you um it is um written uh weird food storages if you did not watch the video please do go back and do watch that video um thank you so much um so here i was just trying to um to avoid mess <laughs> i was just trying to avoid um a messy kitchen and it was at night you know this load shedding thing um you have you have to do everything on time you have to cook on time you have to do a lot of things on time because you'll be in the dark and some some people they don't have um if it's low shedding and you were cooking you have to stop so if you don't have option b you just have to be prepared all the time so i was tired i was lazy but when it was time to go to bed and there was no electricity i was like you know what let me just um let me just do it anyways so that i can go to sleep because i really did want to go to sleep i was so tired but i decided to do this because i knew that the next morning when i walk into this kitchen and i find all that mess it would just give me headache so in order to avoid that i had to try and put things away and i was glad that i did actually when i have started already i i when i had started with this thing um i even forgot that i was tired um i started um enjoying what i was doing you know sometimes our bodies will let you think that you are too tired to do something until you stand up and say and tell yourself that you know what i'm going to do this and then when you are doing it you feel energetic you could even clean your cabinet at night you could even um do whatever it is that you kept on postponing because once you get up and do something then you feel energetic that is just the way i am but sometimes i try to tell myself that you know what it's no use it's at night i am tired and i still have a baby who is going to wake up at night who wants food so i cannot afford to stay up at night so i have to do one thing and then go to bed and it really helps me because my baby is nine months now but she still wakes up um at night and she wants food and it's just, now it's cold it's cold at night and sometimes i feel lazy but i thank god that um her father is also here and most of the time he's the one who wakes up because sometimes i don't know maybe it's because i go to bed um 
be i'm too tired i don't know sometimes i don't hear her when she is crying and i'd be surprised in the morning when they tell me that she woke up and she ate you know or maybe she woke up after eating she was playing for like 30 to an hour 30 minutes to an hour or so sometimes i cannot even hear my baby crying at night because once i go to bed i sleep like a dead person that's how tired i am um most of the time but anyways i was just trying to like you know what let me just do this one thing because i was feeling so energetic i wanted to do something else but i was like no let me just do this and just go to bed because i will not wake up the next morning if i do more and thank god there was no electricity because maybe i would have done a lot of things that night so guys i hope you do enjoy this video i hope you get motivated to organize your things even if it's your wardrobe because also um when you have a wardrobe you know sometimes you do laundry and then you iron your clothes you pick them nicely and if you're not staying alone you're staying with your family members especially when there's kids who are a bit older when they take a, take out their clothes then if they decide that no i no longer want to wear this they just throw it inside and then take another thing so if you have the same problem i hope you get motivated also to go there take up those clothes and just <laughs> pick them nicely until you have to pick them again because you know when you don't stay alone um especially when there's kids there's always something to do whether you like it or not um this reminds me that i just did my laundry two days ago and when i was looking at my it, it's not i'm lying not two days i think four days ago and right now when i look at my washing basket you think that i'm lying the clothes <laughs> so i wish we could do laundry once a month and then the next time you do laundry there'll be just a few clothes but reality is not like that you do laundry and then the next minute when you look at the washing basket there's a lot of laundry and oh, it really gives me a headache but anyways we have to do it and speaking of laundry if you guys remember i had someone who was helping me with laundry that woman was not serious i did the i i remember i remember i told you the last time that i was going to talk to her because she um she got a job and only to find i didn't know that that job was um not permanent that's why she kept on begging me not to look for someone else to help me with laundry and i did i did understand even though she was giving me a hard time because she would spend like two weeks without coming she would not pick up and then when i see her the next time she would beg me please do not give this job to someone i really do but i didn't know that she was not permanent that's it so now i think um she's no longer working there she's um at home so she did come to me and ask me if she can still come at all now no you can come you can come because you asked me not to look for someone so i did not look for someone i've been doing my laundry waiting for you to come she promised it was on friday she promised that definitely tomorrow i'm coming and i trusted her guess what she did not come the next time i see her again she's like no i'm coming you know i was busy and all why are you not picking up your phone no she tells me stories and she does not come and then she comes she out of the blues one day and you know what i was like you know i cannot trust you i gave you um more chances you know i did understand when you were working on the other side and as much as i needed someone i still chose to give you a chance and it didn't work out for me so i chose to let her go i chose to let her go but anyways i'm still struggling with my laundry you know but um now i have um uh, I, I have started to do my laundry um two times a week the other day i do one day i do um the kids laundry and then the other i do my and hubby's laundry and then i ask my little sister to do her own laundry because um at least her laundry is not that much it's just a few things you know so she was okay with it and sometimes she helps me with the baby's laundry and it's working for me because now i don't have to um do the whole laundry you know because wow i even got um more um washing basket because we had two washing baskets and the third one it's the small one for the baby so i had to go and buy another one to separate our clothes hubby and i use the same 
um, basket and then my little sister has her own the boys have their own washing basket and the baby has so it's easy for me to know that like, if today I'm doing the um, the children's laundry I take their washing basket and then then the next day if I'm not tired I take a wash and that's how I do it now and um, um, um I, I think it's working for me because I no longer have to do more laundry and the laundry that is too much it's the children's laundry or the, especially the boys they have too much laundry and also the baby because she is changing clothes like no one's business she's changing clothes like the like she is changing her nappies but anyways it's not working because at first i was frustrated because i wanted to do the whole laundry and then three days after when you go back there you still have a lot of laundry and you just did it and you it was just too much for me so now i decided you know what i don't want to give myself stress anymore because i i kept this is the third person that i got to do my laundry and they just giving me a lot of excuses i i understood i understood with the two that um i had at first because they were working so they only came once a week and then there's this one um she was not working but she still kept um giving me a lot of excuses so i had to let her go so now that is what i'm doing i do my laundry two times a week the other days for the kids laundry and the other one is for my laundry with hubby's so it's working for me so guys thank you so much once again for watching this video i hope you're motivated to do something as well um i will see you on my next upload um i hope you subscribed if you're not yet subscribed please do like this video and also share and help my channel to grow and thank you so much guys i see that we are growing thank you so so much for your support um i truly appreciate you I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye.